<laughs> who did that? First of all, who did that? Uh, someone in the gym, not me. Come like that. Freddie did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, John, you, you just got done through a workout right now. How, how do you feel physically, man? I mean, you, you look strong. How do you feel in there? Uh, right now, we're about three weeks away, so I'm about like. Uh, 80, 85% of my shape. Uh, I don't need to be top shape right now. I need to peak the week of the fight. So I'm about to peak in about like 10, 15 days. So right now we're right on path. How excited are you for this fight to get that second opportunity to make things right against Kovalev? I'm very excited. I'm very motivated because the first fight was a great fight, was a close fight. Uh, like some bout now saying there was a one-way fight, but if you watch the tape, it was a very close fight because I was on my way back. The fifth, the sixth round, I won those rounds. So I was on my way back, but the referee stopped the fight a little bit too soon. That's why we have a rematch. We're going to mix it up once again for the pleasure of the fans, of the crowd. I heard you listening to Roy Jones in there. I mean, how much fun were you having and how much do you like Roy? Not just as a fighter, but even his music. Yeah, no matter what, uh, there's Tupac, Big and Small, then Roy Jones. <laughs> uh, sorry, Shadow Box, you still have a lot of what Roy Jones Jr. taught you in there. And you sh do you have to shake that loose or do you think that benefits you still? Uh, that still benefit me. Uh, when I was young, I watched so many tapes of Roy Jones growing up. He was kind of my model. Mm. So, of course, I do have some Roy Jones in me, but at the same time, I want to forge my own style. So, if I if I can be a mix of John Pascal and Roy Jones, I think I'm going to have the best of both worlds. How does Freddie Rush feel about that? You adding the Roy Jones uh, style game plan to your, uh, your uh, armory? Freddie is ready to, to make me have my hands up. <laughs> to sit a little bit more, but he do understand that I'm a black fighter, I'm a versatile, I'm a brother, I know how to <laughs> dance. So I have to dance in the ring at the same time. I have to show uh, my skills, I have to show that I got potential, I got skill, so I have to be versatile. Is it personal now, the second goal with the Kovalev being that uh, some of the racist uh, things that he's somewhat done, you know, um, a lot of people have criticized him for it, but he says it's all a joke, you know? That's not a joke. Uh, racism doesn't have its place in 2016. Uh, he's saying that uh, that was a joke, but that wasn't the first time he, he treated a black guy a monkey. He said the same thing with Ish Ismail Shlak when he fought Shlak uh, back in 2013. He said he's a monkey because he's half black and half, uh, half white, so whatever. And then uh, he said he's going to kick his black ass. So, and then he said the comment about Stevenson. You can make a mistake once, but... When you do the, mis the same mistake twice, three times, that's not a mistake. He's racist. Why is this rematch personal? You, you want to uh, put a hurt on him, so to speak, too? Of course, because this, so, this is so disrespectful. Uh, of course, uh, black people, we're not monkey. You are a human being, like white, Chinese, yellow, whatever. We're not monkeys. Uh, we, are being, uh, we are one race, but we're not monkeys. And that was so disrespectful. And I'm going to make him pay because, like I said, racism doesn't have its place in 2016. It might say it was a joke, but uh, when you do a mistake once, can be a mistake, but when you do it twice and three times, that's not a mistake. Why do you think that's not a, a, as big of a story as, like, I, I <clears throat> you know, obviously people in the boxing media and stuff know about that, but it seems like, like Kovalev's getting a pass almost from, like, the mainstream media. Like, why do you think that is? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe because he's white. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Honestly, I really don't know, but at the end of the day, I don't really care. I need to focus on my fight. It can be racist. It can be this and that. Uh, we call a monkey. monkey. Liar, and we and we have to call a racist a racist. Kovalev is a liar, racist or liar uh, is a is a liar and is a and is racist. So, but uh, like I said. Um, I don't need to think about those things. I need to think about my game plan, my match. Uh, I need to think about what I have to do to win the fight. And that's, and that's what I'm going to do uh, well, right why, now. Why do you think he's uh, avoided the whole talk about the bet and that stuff? I, I haven't heard anything coming from his end. Coming from why is he avoiding that? Simple, because the truth. So when you know it's truth, you don't want to talk about it because you know like deep down inside that you were, say, you were saying that because you were taking it so and he knows now that that's kind of like uh, 
unacceptable in 2016 to think that way. Uh, he's not a model. Uh, he's a champion. He's supposed to sh uh, show the example. He's supposed to be a pioneer. And right now, uh, he just gave the boxer, the Russian boxer, all people in Russia, a bad reputation.